Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. So today we're having a look at a very impressive kit. This is a kit by Hobby Boss. It is the Panzerkampfwagen 6 SDKFZ 182 Tiger 2 with the Henschel turret 1944 production with Serret in 135th scale and this is the box art which is beautiful shows a Tiger 2 passing by a knocked out US tank destroyer there we go so it's a beautiful absolutely beautiful piece of um, box art on this one all right so let's have a look at the box it is quite a big box so bear with me on the side You've got one, two, three, four color call outs for the Tiger 2. Plus, as you can tell, you've got photo etch, decals, and this is the Zimrit coating. All right, so this is uh, definitely, and uh, that from Chinese, as you can tell. 2018 is its issue and on the other side we have basically the same four more color call outs for the tiger plus brief description of its history um, especially as it, this is a 1944 production and then you've got your warnings over 14 only because of the Zimmerit um, coating etc this would be definitely a reasonably experienced modelers kit not definitely not for a beginner all right so that's the box which is massive so let's have a look inside get rid of that nice okay 3D CAD views showing the photo etch, another history of the vehicle. On the other side, we've got a couple of ads for other Hobby Boss um, models Tomcat 172nd scale, and uh, we have a white Scout car towing 122mm howitzer. So that's pretty good nicely packed as you can tell the hull is packed in a separate box everything appears to be in separate bags so let's have a look see hope you guys can have a look at this so we've got basically that would be base of the turret front and back Let's have a look what we've got here. Barrel. Okay, so that barrel is one piece, not two. So you'll just have to you know, be careful taking it off, but that I like. Fittings, jack, covers, etc. Foam protected piece. Alright, so this looks very delicate. And this is actually... Your running gear and the exhausts, plus your cable. And we'll have a look and see what's in there, but it must be interesting. Alright, next sprue is rear of the tank, side skirts, top of the engine. That looks good. Nice moulding from what I can see so far. Wheels, fairly crisp. Two sprues exactly the same. More wheels. This thing had a lot of wheels, so that's why experienced or moderately experienced. Definitely not for the beginning of this kit. Looking good so far. Individual track links. Okay. You've got four sprues in there. So, but because they are in actual fact 
quite large shouldn't be too hard to put these together right let's have a look top of the hole there is from what I can even see through the plastic looks like a um, even has casting texture on the outside but we'll have a closer look at that anyway bottom of the hole nice detail on the bottom nice hatch detail looking good even on the sides really nice detail okay let's have a look at this one all right drive sprockets so far i haven't seen any flash and the moldings look really sharp and quite clear so i like that here we go front machine gun position already has a zimmer imprinted on that one put that there clear these are your periscopes okay they're looking good next sprue this one is it entirely just the machine gun okay and that is very very finely detailed and quite good all right so that's your external mount machine gun okay back hatch for the turret already has zimmer on it okay in a separate bag and then we've got two sprues exactly the same these are your basic hull machine guns okay and as you can tell that's a full machine gun not just the barrel part of it plus accessories so that's pretty good I like that okay all right we'll have closer looks at this anyway photo etch turret one piece apart from the front decals with um yeah tissue cover that's nice all right let's have a look here all right this is your zimmerit because this zimmerit is actually made for this particular model should be fairly easy to apply and it looks really nice just from what i can see through the plastic we'll definitely have a closer look when i have a look at the sprues we'll have a closer look at everything what have we got here more advertising for hobby bosses tools etc modeling tools paint brushes okay photo etch benders okay so we'll put that aside and then instructions and there we go these are full color okay full color with mr hobby acrisian i've never heard of that vallejo modern master tamia and humbrol colors for each color okay so we'll have a closer look at these anyway and then instructions of which you've got a 32 page booklet okay so that's it for what's in the box bear with me and then uh, we'll have a look at the instructions the decals and the zimmer okay back in a minute okay welcome back and here we go let's have a look at the instructions i think first we'll have a look at hobby bosses a little bit of advertising for the tank okay as you can tell the yellow parts are the photo watch photo etch so you'll get um 
grills of course naturally enough you do get um, photo etch clamps for the tools and it also has a very detailed complete 88 in the turret although not much else as far as um, an interior that is basically it although it is very accurately detailed in other aspects so that's pretty good I like that all right so instructions okay usual recommendations about tools read the instructions first as usual okay dry fit everything to make sure it works okay takes you tells you how to apply the decals English and Chinese also exactly what kind of glues what you've got to bend what you've got to fix and cut off etc and then on we go so first up my bad sprue layout of course very detailed and then this is where you make a choice and you have a choice between a Tiger 2 with Zimrit or just a Tiger 2 plane all right so for my money since the Zimrit's there I'd give it a shot practice with some of the offcuts and see what you can do with it okay so first step naturally enough lower hull suspension swing arms all right 10 of these eight of those shows you exactly how they slot in and then onto the wheels then you can make eight sets of the internal wheels they go on so they Oh, okay. So, bit of a miscut. There we go. Ooh, tore that. Oh, bugger. All right. And then onwards. Idler. Okay, dry sprocket. And then another piece of zero. Okay, then you put the caps on the wheels. Roll the wheels together. And then you assemble the tracks okay okay so as you can tell each link okay has the guides and it's basically made up of three pieces that all just clicks together well glues together i should say and then that just gives you a really nice track sack so individual links a lot more work in it but worth it for the look i think okay and then we go on to rear of the tank okay so again zimmer it exhausts okay then you're actually putting some of the tools on as well All right so it blocks and it is quite detailed some very fiddly small pieces here but this is um what you need to make a really good model is the detail so then we carry on this is the jack all right so notice how many pieces the jack is actually made of so it looks to be what three eight ten separate pieces just for that jack and this just all goes on the back next step upper hull right and this is also where you put in your clear periscopes and make a choice you can have the machine gun external with zimmer on it or just plain then we come to applying zimmer onto the hull if you're going that way and then this is the internal machine gun and as you can tell it is very detailed right very very detailed so very fine great detail rear engine deck again lots of bits and pieces to put on here 
and then we move on to again option Zimmerit you've got your photo etch grills tools PE clamps and then we move on all right so again type one you'll notice the cables they be very very fine tools are going on all right so all your mesh is going on the back here so we're up to step 16 already all right and then we go on to this is the other option without zimmer and then carry on side skirts and if you wanted to there's no reason why you can't cut a piece off the side skirt to replicate damage and removal and then top hole joins the bottom mud guards all right and then just keep putting your mud guards and fittings on until the hull itself is complete and then we move on to the gun so all the internal parts machine gun which is added to the side of the gun then it gets mounted onto the turret base okay so then we come down to zimrit coating on the turret okay all right so you've got to make some holes for various pe parts in the turret before you put it together and there we go so we get all the turret bits and pieces are put on all right so that's the back hatch spare track links same again all of these parts the clamps for the spare tracks okay and then it's finished All right this is just parts that you need to fill in or sand the extra holes etc uh, just to bring it up to this particular model of Tiger 2 okay that's very good it actually tells you what you need to look at and after that the turret goes down the hole and we're done okay that brings us to the end of the instructions Let's have a look <clears throat> at the decals. Okay, so what have we done here, guys? I see we're protecting the decals with a bit of silver tape, so that's not going to work for us, is it? There we go. They look crisp and sharp, and with a bit of setting solution. They should go on the Zemrit paste fairly easily. All right, so speaking of which, Zemrit. Now you get two sheets. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I'll give you stills of it anyway. But the pattern is on both sides. Okay, so okay gun mount bits and small pieces etc turret sides there we go that's move that out of the way so you can actually see this same again pattern is on both sides back of the tank sides okay so it feels pretty good and to scale so they look not too bad and last but not least and I might give you steals of this too so these are the colors right as I said you've got six manufacturers for the colors and you've got one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight different color call outs for this vehicle. So you have a pretty good choice as to how you want to paint it and how you want to set it up. Okay, so let's clear all this out the way and we'll have a look at the sprues. Hi guys and welcome back. Okay, so first let's have a look at the sprues. All right, I think we will start with the bottom of the tank. All right, there we go. Good solid one piece. Really nice detail, especially on the bottom. For all the access hatches, etc. I'm not sure if you can see it. It does have a cast texture on here, but there are one two molding points which will need to be sanded away um, very carefully otherwise you will destroy that cast texture not that you'll see it because it is actually on the bottom of the tank okay so that's the bottom So let's have a look at the upper hull. Same again. Does have a really nice cast texture on it and some very fine details. As you can tell, very fine details. Not too bad. That is quite nice. The ring. You won't see it with the turret on, but it's definitely worth an, an extra detail. I like that. A lot of places don't even put those in. Okay, so that's pretty good. Very sharp. Naturally enough, these things will come out when you come to construction. Right, so let's go have a look at the turret, back of the turret, welds are pretty sharp, some very nice, although not sure if we can see it, nice weld seams, bolts, again very fine cast texture on this, really sharp details as far as hinges are concerned, one thing to note though, I'm not sure if you can see it, Right here is a circle, another one here, one here. Now the instructions say to sand these down when you finish the tank. That means after you put all the clips on, all the spare tracks and etc. Have a really good read of the instructions, have a good think, but I can't see the reason why they can't be removed before you start putting things on. If you put the zimmer on, you won't see it, but you'll still have to sand it down for the zimmer anyway. So that's one thing to keep an eye out for. All right, so let's put that aside. And side and on with the sprues so first sprue we come to here we go there we are that's the base of the turret some really nice bolt detail here very nice hatch detail both sides 
So that's good. I like that. I would definitely be leaving the hatches open on this one. Even though there's not much interior, you won't see it. But it does have a very detailed 88 breech mechanism in there. So, again, some very, very nice texture on these and very fine bolt detail. So, that's the bottom of the tank. Let's carry on with the rest of it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the wheels. Okay, so here we have your basic wheels. All right, you get two sprues of this one. Okay, so here you've got your suspension. Okay, really nice sharp detail on there. Torsion bars run through axles for the wheels. So really sharp even on the wheel caps really nice bolt detail very nice i like that so naturally enough as i said there's two of these and i will give you stills for it anyway Okay, so next up, you've got the next brew, side skirts, engine deck, back of the tank. Again, some nice texture on that, very, very nice details. All right, mud guards, etc. No texture on these, but some very nice and very sharp bolt details. So that I like tools very sharp as I said you do have uh, PE clamps for these tools okay so they look pretty good okay I'll give you still Okay, I'll give you stills of those anyway. So next we've got the important bit, the gun. As I said, the barrel is one piece. So you don't have to worry about, you know, sticking two halves together. That I like. And it is very detailed. So these are parts for the back deck, but you have all the internal be uh, breech details, mounts for the 88, which is some very fine bits, but once you put it together, it'll look awesome. That's why you leave the hatch open. Okay, so that's the other side. Okay, there's your jack. That's, what did I say it was? 17 pieces or something like that. Very complex, some very fine Little handles there, it's something to keep aware. Keep aware of the. There's a lot of fine details on this tank. All right, so let's have a look at. All right, so these are the parts here that had the foam protection on it in the packaging very fine cable detail very nice sharp don't know if you can see it but it feels really nice and as I said so far although there's a lot of molding pips on these things because it's necessary to get a good mold not much flash 
and very sharp. That's the other side, as you can tell. It's a really nice detail on the exhaust covers. Okay, drive sprockets, cables are really nice, very sharp. I like it, but that is going to be a tricky part to take off without breaking it. Challenge accepted. Oh, sorry about the noise. That was the upper hull falling away, trying to disappear. <laughs> no way. Okay, so. Okay, so now it comes to small screws. Oh, that was a bit blurry. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is your external mount machine gun. And it is, again, that's going to be tricky getting off without breaking it. But the detail, crisp, very, very sharp. Very nice. So let's have a look at the hull machine guns. Same again. Some very fine parts, but they all go together to make a full hull machine gun. And that is for the turret and the hull. Okay, so these are your internals. And again, some very, very, very sharp detail. Okay, so what's next? All right, drive rocket. All right, so you get a couple of these ones. All right, good detail, good bolts, no flash. Some very fine parts again, but as I said, this kit would be for a moderate to experienced uh, model maker. Definitely not for a beginner. Some extremely small parts, and you'd have to be extremely careful with this one. Okay, so what have we got? What have we missed? All right. All right, so, small sprue, okay. Rear hatch with Zimrit. Looking pretty sharp. Shouldn't be too hard to get that off without breaking anything. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. And there's your front hull machine gun with the Zimrit. Naturally, I'll give you close-up stills of this anyway, so you'll be able to tell how close and how nice that Zimmer um, paste is on there. And, and clear parts. All right. These are your periscopes. They look clear. They are quite sharp. And uh, I don't see any massive flash or anything on that. So that's what you need for clear parts. No flash. No flash. Then we've got, I think, just about the last sprue. The individual track links. All right. So, you basically got track guides, okay, cleats, main body. You've got four of these sprues. They are quite complex, but worth it if you want a quite detailed tank. Um, probably the, I would say, probably the most challenging part of the whole model would be putting the tracks together. Okay, so that's that. So let's have a look. What did I forget? Ah. Ah. 
the most important parts, didn't I? There we go. PE. Alright. So you've got your intake grills. Very fine clamps for your tools. Okay. There we are. I will give you stills of these. So they may look a bit shiny. That's because they are wrapped. I don't know if I can do it. They do have a plastic protective coating on both sides all right that's to make sure that they stay rigid and also they're not damaged because they are extremely fine okay and they're beautiful i love it okay and i think that brings us to the end of the sprues okay now Okay, so, there we have it, the Hobby Boss Tiger 2, 1944 production, the Henschel turret, with Zimmer, okay, 135th scale, right. so, this will be quite an impressive kit to put together, as I said, there's a lot to it, there's a lot of sprues, a lot of small parts but if you take time patience dry fit read the instructions no reason why this couldn't come out to be quite an awesome kit anyway that brings us to the end of this one hope you've got something from it and um as usual i'll catch you next time see you guys